Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 28 of Bill Star Reign of Giants. Get off my rocks! No, last episode we encountered the dragonfly. He can't really show you the map here, but on the surface he burnt the area just a little bit north of my base. He may have burned down a nest and some pig hut. Uh, a pig hut, I believe. We kind of ran across the map hoping he would de-aggro. He may have, I didn't hear him on the way here. If he de-aggro, if he de-aggro, that's fantastic. I'm going to take these guys to the surface kind of as some defense. If he's still there, uh, I'll send him after him. If he's not, I'll have to bring these guys down in the caves. I don't want them on my surface for too long. Uh, it's nighttime, so what I'm looking for here real quick are some flowers for some quick sanity. And, and trying to listen for the dragonfly, which I think I did just here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Did I hear him? Really? No flowers? Damn game. That hurts. That hurts, man. No flowers at all? Like, there's all these rocks and stuff, which is cool. Really? Game hates me. I'm hearing, like, lion sounds, which I'm not sure if that's just what they use for generic boss sounds or something. I, uh, I'm hearing something. <laughs> right now I'm looking for some flowers. I just want to get my sanity up real quick. Uh, my stone is getting a little warm. You know, I say we try to head home here. And then we'll come back, we'll get some sanity back, we will fill our tummies, and then we'll probably get rid of the rock lobster guys back in the cave. I, w I still want to explore the cave. I definitely want to get some, uh, some just, I just want to explore it and I'll get it out of the way. Of course, it's harder to navigate in the caves during winter, or at least spring, because spring it will still rain down there, even if it's not raining on the surface, just because it's wet, I guess. That's kind of a problem. But I think we may be in the clear when it comes down to, uh, mean old dragonfly there. Sanity is going back up here. I could just go stand your globbers. That'll give me some sanity back. May as well harvest you. You are free berries. Yeah, whenever you pick up a berry bush um, and you relocate it, it needs fertilized. If you pick up or you loot berries naturally in the world, they never need fertilized again. I don't know if I ever really made any mention of that, but that's a cool, that's a cool mechanic, I guess. <laughs> it's kind of better to leave them there, but if you can amass them and maintain them, that's good. Now I'm gonna put my umbrella on here, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if this rain's gonna last very long. I don't know if that pisses the bees off or not. I think I ask that question every time. I really shouldn't be doing this. I should be using the uh, the butterfly or the nets and getting some more butterflies. I'm killing my flower sources. I haven't been standing there glomer enough. I'm so happy though. Wait, what's that sound? Is that him? I think it's him with the tentacle. I'm so happy that Glomer is pooping off screen for me. Let's go check the damage up here real quick. After we uh, cool down. Hopefully we don't get too, uh, what's the word? Moist here. Okay, so we're cold and wet. Let's toggle our stones real quick. Get that one. And we need to fill up our tummies. So, let's get the monster jerky. Let's see what happens here. These do need refueled. Let's give this a try here. I want to see how much... I'm assuming this is just going to fill it up. Not going to fill it up all the way in one go, but it really helped. That's fantastic. I like Glomer's poop. Glomer, you are my friend. Uh, let's put that in here. Those light bulbs are going bad, so... These ones are older than my new ones, so we'll use those first. I can make a garland. I should probably do that. I think I might. I might take this off. Oh, see, here they are. Okay, so. Hmm. I'm not gonna be able to kill them by any traditional sense. They just have too much health, other than exploding them. So I would probably want to befriend them again and take them back down to caves. I should never have brought them on the surface in the first place. Uh, real quick, let's let's take these and we'll fill up our tummies. See how good these are. 
They don't appear to be any better. <laughs> it's good in the sense that these are going to last longer, I suppose. But yeah, it doesn't look like those are really all that great. I still need to go check the damage up north. Let's find the rock lobsters. Where'd you go? I wonder if they'll go back to the caves and ram giants. I don't see them. Kind of vanished. I mean, if they were my friends, they would still follow me. Weird. Well, let's go scope out the damage. We'll worry about that later. If it becomes a problem, I'm going to relocate them. I don't mind having them on the surface. They help me. So, eh. Oh, hey, look. Your, your house has been spared. Nice. And this didn't burn down too, too much. That's, that's pretty good. Well, oh, nope. I will put that out. I don't care if it hurts me. I don't feel like dealing with that. Let's chop these trees down. Oh, you little asshole. Here I am celebrating your house not catching on fire. And then you come at me and try and kill me. You know what? Just get over here. Just get over here. This is, this is what's happening. Get over here. Kill him. Kill him. You're, you're so dead, buddy. You're, you're, you're dead. Let's befriend some of you. Let's have you kill. Let's, uh, let's start the process. Let's see if I get some monster meat here. <laughs> Hold that mythical spacebar button real quick. I took my axe off so I don't chop trees down while holding space here. And, sorry if you can't hear me. I know this is a little loud. Whenever they do that, there's not much you can do about that one. So the nice thing here is, now that I have that bird cage, given the fact that I have ha I've got so much extra meat, I'm probably going to have so much extra meat. I can feed it to the bird and get rotten eggs, and that's just, well, I get regular eggs. But I'll get rotten eggs eventually. So, got its uses. I'm happy. Sounds getting a little hot. That's a better thing. Where'd she come from? Wow, I'm getting so much shit here. Oh my god. I'm loving this. Oh, they all got up at once. It's time to relocate, guys. Jeez. They're still going at it. It's never going to end. Okay. It's going to be night here in a sec. Let's throw our hat on when we need to. Let's chop the trees down. Now I could sick the spiders out of my friends on the uh, Spider Queen. <laughs> Cause even more problems, but let's just chop this shit down. So, we turned, what, one pig meat into 12 monster meat, seven spider glands, uh, and some four, si four silk? Okay. I'll take that. I'm probably going to cook this and just eat it. I don't really think it's worth making that weapon. I don't know if that weapon has durability like a spear would, or if it has durability in the sense of, like, food spoilage. That I know not. But now we have plenty of food. Nice. Kind of disappointed in the the monster jerky. I'm guessing pretty much the only use for drying racks and monster jerky is just going to be the duration at which the mo the meat will last. Probably would probably would just be better to stick with using regular meat and getting the added benefit of the health and sanity bonuses. So uh, probably stick to that. Still want to go back to those caves. Hmm. Definitely need to work on a way of defending myself against this boss, so I need to, I need to get some, uh, what is it called, some sleeping darts and stuff going. I'd love to do that, but of course, I again, I need the eggs, and I'm working on that one right now. It's kind of a work in progress. Sanity is okay right now. Let's see what you guys bitching about. Plenty of charcoal. I use that to fuel stuff, too. It is a fuel source. So let's add one. I wonder if charcoal has any... Uh, I mean, is, is it better in some senses as a fuel than logs? I need to look that one up. I would like to know. Let's just put that over here. I like to have these up here. Do I have any rot anywhere? I think I do. I don't know. Guess not. Well, you can stay in there for now. Uh, let's toggle our stones. Let us get... Oh. Let's get those 12 out. We will make a garland. Let's try to just use a garland for a little bit here. 
Let's, uh, let's see here. Oh, let's eat these. Fill up our bellies. I don't think you get any benefit from cooking monster meat. Can you give them raw monster meat? Do I have to cook it? I always forget. I think I have to cook this. So, let's, let's save it for regular food for now. If it starts to spoil, we'll feed it to him. Uh, the niter can go... Why, why did I have the niter spoil like that? Put the niter in there. Put the silk away. Let's clean up a little bit here. Got the glands in here. Oh wow. Cool glands. Well, we'll keep them for the health. Uh, let's refresh this. So, I still want to get rid of all these woods, because, as you just saw, that fire is a problem. Let's chop some trees. Look at all the charcoal. Look what happened here. Is that, is that remnants from the previous burning? I think it is. You know what? Go be useful. Attack. Attack! And then I might go see what Glomer's doing, see if he's dropped some poop ski. Maybe uh, stand near him for some sanity, but now that we have a garland, we should be good for that. So the reason I have been wearing that straw hat was just for the sanity. Or, I'm sorry. The shade it provides. It provides a slim shade factor. There are way better items, but it's super cheap, easy to get, and I just keep using it. Uh, of course, I would like to have my garland on the majority of the time. Weber, I, I like having more sanity, obviously. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I would like to take that monster meat before you guys eat it. Nope. Get out of here. Wow, did, did the ones I send up here die? I think that's what just happened. I need to make another bug net, and I need to start spamming flowers. I would also like to consider getting a bee box going, or some bee, a bee farm. The thing is, the uh, the bee farm would need its own ice plugomatic, because if it turns, whatever it gets to the summer months next time, if we live that long, they're going to have the potential to burn down. Same thing with all these flowers nearby. Every item is going to have a burn, like a potential to burn. There's a dirt pile. Let's not worry about that right now. I'm focused on cleaning this all up. Still sad that that pig hut burnt down. Probably probably would be a smart idea to go around and uh, slay some pigs. Make a slight pig village kind of way off screen so it doesn't burn down when I'm not near it. Maybe just put it down south where there's already a couple huts. Probably would be a smart idea. To my knowledge, the only time things will catch on fire Kind of similar to like, like the way the lightning rod works, like you know, a screen or two lengths away. It has to be within the quote-unquote loading area. Again, think Minecraft, I think chunks. So if it's really far off, nothing's technically happening in game. But if I'm near enough, near close enough that it's like the actions are still taking place there. Of course, they use it to you know make the game more efficient. But you can kind of take advantage of that mechanic when it comes to burning and stuff. But yeah, having things far away, that way I don't have to worry about them. It's a good idea. So many butterflies they'd like to be capturing. Whatever. I'm staying busy during the day. That's what I want to do. And our, our days are getting shorter, so we are probably approaching autumn, I would have to assume here. Day 34, so day 21 would have been summer. Start of summer. We're almost, what, we're, we're 13 days in, so I think summer only lasts 16 days by default. So we're approaching autumn, which is fantastic. And get rid of the thermal stone, I don't have to worry about that. I don't know if the cave will still be wet, like it is in summer, or spring. I'm not sure about that one. I'll have to find out, but yeah, let's... Take a look here at the map. Yeah, we're getting a lot of these trees. See, I could even put a shit ton of tooth traps over here. Like, if something did come at my base, and, you know, I just needed to keep, kill it. Just have some tooth traps over here. Or I could just put a boatload of spiders over here. <laughs> Anything, really. Now, the problem is, well, a lot of monsters have really, really powerful AoE, and they could just kill every... <laughs> if every spider comes in at once, they're all dead. But if they came in individually, it might be better. A lot of situational... Crap when it comes to random giants. Oh, my inventory's a lot of junk here. It's, it's okay. It's a good junk. Surprised a lot of the trees didn't just kind of go down. Or I should say go up in flames. Uh, I don't need to befriend any spiders. I still. I need to I need to get more papyrus and I need to start spreading the spider, uh, spider, spider faith. Let me check the map over here real quick. 
there are quite a bit of reeds over here compared to my swamp. I am considering since since summer is coming to an end, I think maybe uh going down there and getting some reeds. Of course, I'm gonna get structures here. I don't think I need to prototype this or anything. Bunch of silk, bunch of glands, and papyrus. And obviously papyrus, you need quite a bit for once. You needed six for that. <laughs> six times four, guys, per nest. So yeah, that's just when it comes to the reed front. I'm gonna need a lot of resources to do that. Let's go ahead and just add that fuel. I could probably just go swap out my stone, but it's gonna be dark here. Oh, let's just eat these. Uh, I have so much charcoal. Not that that's a problem, but my goodness. Find that stack. Hmm. Well, let's do this. Come here. Nope. Stop that. Nope. Nope. Get over. Nope. Get over here. I'm trying to befriend you, little shits. Be my friend. All right, we're gonna kill each other here in a second. Come on. Kill. Kill. I'm gonna wear this. Kill it. Oh, oops. Oh shit. Here we go. Here we go. You know, if I had more nests, this would be this would be like a non-stop thing. That's the goal, guys. We already got our meat back. Now we've made a uh, made a profit. <laughs> Anything beyond this is purely beneficial. <laughs> I love it. Now this this is gonna be so easy to get rotten eggs. I love this. I'm gonna have so much gunpowder. Problem is, it's gonna be sleeping darts. Maybe I'm gonna to want to put a bunch of traps down. Oh man. Again, I think you really do have to bait them. Let's go ahead and do this. And well, where's the next. Have these spider queens parked it yet? That I do not know. Uh, let's wait for the night. What is that sound? Oh, here you go. Go kill him. Go cause problems all screen. No, are you, are you not attacking? Attack! There you go. <laughs> I don't want to kill you. Let me bait the trap with the seed on the ground. See if we can get another bird. Uh, I'll fill this up. No, this is going bad, so... Let me just throw that in here. First, I'll take a sanity hit there. Those light bulbs are going bad. Not much I can do about them. Don't really need to use them for fuel right now. I hope the spider survived. See, we're going to need more healing glands as well, so I will take those. Now, I just want to see these spider queens. Looks like they've plopped down. Yeah, there's one here. Let's start gathering the reeds. Uh, nope, she's still up. And she's still having babbies. So we need glands and silk. We need quite a bit of everything. Yeah, they're still, they're still walking around. Okay. Hmm. Let's put the silk away. I've got a boatload of logs. We'll go take a look at the logs over there. We're still chopping some trees down, I think. I may just refine this in the boards. Save up some space. Got a bird there. Uh, I have no logs on me. But, I think there were some on the ground. Or some trees to chop, at least. There's some up here. Let's just get rid of these as well. Get our axe here. Is that a red bird? That's a red bird. Damn. I want the black birds. I need the black jetpack feathers. The jet black, jet black feathers are going to be really easy to get here if the penguins start coming at me. And my penguins get pissy. Or my penguins. <laughs> my spiders get pissy with them. We'll kill the penguins, get jet black feathers. And we'll get rotten eggs. So it's kind of a win-win. Even though I hate those penguin bastards. <sighs> trying to just prevent next summer. Trying to prevent problems. <laughs> it's all about summer. I'm not even worried about winter. I mean, I'll do what I can to kill deer clops, but uh, screw him, man. Let's get all this. Look at all this charcoal over here. It's all fuel. Well, I think I might actually need it. I need another pickaxe. That's at five percent. Okay. Let's see. That's it. Maybe I should just dig this up. I'll take a sanity hit here, but no other purpose for that. I wonder if I, I think I can hammer that down. I think I'll get some rocks. I may do that. Okay, let's get our get our new stone here. Get the warmer one off of us. Uh, those tricky. Yeah, they're tricky. So let's take the meat we have. 
let's toggle that out. And you can feed him monster jerky, so I can kind of hoard monster jerky. Man. Got a, got a smooth system here. I'm gonna need some more ice boxes. I'm gonna have plenty of... <laughs> gonna have plenty of charcoal to do that. Uh... Oh, I have gears in here, so let's put them away. Where do gears go? There they are. Put the charcoal in here. Get black feathers. Uh, silk. Pinecone stacks. No thanks, pinecones. Pinecones, blizz. Oh my goodness. Guys, I've got too much damn pine too many damn pine cones. I always end up having too much pinecone. I need I really need to store the or organize this shit, guys. I'm sorry. I'll store the rod over here because it's the only time I'm ever gonna need it. Uh Let's see here. Inventory's looking good. I have food. Let's put the glands away. I don't need them. Oh. Don't have any space. Oh, <laughs> uh, wow. Wow, I got more pine cones on me. Fuck! Here you go. Have a pine cone. Do I want to start capturing those butterflies? Oh, there's a, there's a few trees here. Let's get rid of those real quick. Are they stumps? Like, they're showing up on the map. What? You seeing this? I'm not crazy, am I? Oh, yeah, I mean, I am. But look, it says there's trees here. Oh, it's the stumps. I'm just stupid. <laughs> it's the stump in this tree. Okay. I thought something derped. It was me. <laughs> uh, well, let's get the bird out of here. He's just being obnoxious. Plant that there. I'll murder him. Don't need these bread feathers. I dropped one over here. Yeah, it's getting to be, uh quite a litter pile around my base, but whatever. I'm going to have to fuel those here in a sec. Well, I think we found the perfect use for my pine cones. <laughs> Let's, uh, why don't we fuel our, our stuff with that? Let's see how well this works out. Not very well. It still works. But, alright. Found a good use for pine cones, guys. Sweet. I'll take it. I'm tired of having so damn many. Alright, now I've been wasting way too much time. What is our next goal? Is it bee boxes? Is it gather more reeds? Uh, gather more reeds to make more nests. Sounds smart. Let me see about hammering that gray stone down over there. I want to test this. I don't know if this can be done. I just want to figure this one out. And, of course, I need to start working on some, some ways of killing some bosses. Because I... I could whittle them down over time. And I, I cannot do that. No. Mining it, maybe? Nope. I guess there's no way of getting rid of headstones. It's not going to bug me. I mean, I'm just going to throw down a bunch of nests over here. But I would have liked to clear it up for some added space. Okay. Let's see here. I'm going to have to make some more chests and kind of organize. I have so many rocks. I feel like rocks are more easy to get in the uh, giants. Not that I'm complaining. Okay, so we're going to go over here. I'm going to need a, another potential endothermic fire pit, which looks like I already have one made. I do, right? I can just place this one, don't I? Yeah. So I have an emergency fire. Um... Let's harvest this stuff. And probably do that in the next episode. I don't have too much time. So why don't we do a little bit of more maintenance here just around the base. Then definitely next episode, head over to the swamp, gather a boatload of reeds. Maybe bring some spiders with me. I don't know. I still, again, would like to be down in the caves. You can find bigger, bigger swamp islands, in my experience, down there. With a lot more reeds. At least I got lucky in my other world. I definitely did. There's quite a bit down there. Haha. <laughs> yes, that's right. You you fixed my, my withering berries. My berries are withering, guys. That sounds wrong. Uh, getting another bug net, of course. That's that's another good thing to do. Be to spread the uh, butterflies around. A bunch, get a bunch of flowers. So much to do. Problem is, everything I build, I really have to consider keeping it under an ice flingomatic. I mean, 
you know, in regular Don't Starve, you can come up with some really cool bases, and you don't have to worry about any really external uh, damaging sources other than like bosses and stuff. But it comes to this, it comes to this, you gotta worry about the. Uh, I should probably put some spiders over here. Ah, uh, spiders. I could probably put Glomer over here. But you gotta worry about you know summer and everything just burning down. So kind of sucks. Let's see here. This going to go bad. Might as well get some use out of those. Let's toggle the stone. I'm just gonna eat this berry. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't do anything over here. I can leave that there, I suppose. No big deal. What about? I mean, I have to, I've got a boatload of silk. What was it underneath survival rope? Well, we're gonna have plenty of grass in our inventory after doing what we just did. So let's make three of them, and then how many silk times three? So we need six silk. Six silk. And we need a bunch of twigs. Let's take these. It's raining. Put them here. We'll capture a bunch of butterflies. Uh, I don't know how much... Oh, hey. That's autumn. That is autumn. Let's take the hat off here. Now, autumn, to my knowledge... my hat break? Where's my straw hat? Did I put away my straw hat? Oh, I did. Weird. Okay. Uh, autumn, to my knowledge... Well, obviously, I don't have to worry about overheating anymore, so... Getting rid of that thermal stone is very viable. Autumn, I think the boss... Isn't Verger? I think the boss is Moose Goose. Uh, he's not one of the harder ones. He only does single target damage, to my knowledge. So having uh, a bunch of spiders is really good. Uh, really good against him. Let's capture these buggers. Now, that, that turkey needs to go. Probably should have killed him. <laughs> there we go. The fuck off my berries. Uh, crap. I can only drop only one drumstick, really? No, two. So say he, I, th I thought he dropped two. Let's take two berries, put two drumsticks in here. I don't know if I get meatballs from this. I don't think drumsticks count. Probably not get anything really great out of that. Let's do it anyway. So autumn should not be raining too much. Autumn should be kind of a relaxing time. It should be kind of like the default don't starve. Uh, you know, like in a normal world, just when it's not winter. It's that kind of kind of weather. At least that's what I think. Oh, there's another butterfly. We'll spend our last few minutes here, guys, capturing some butterflies. It's tranquil. We've conquered summer. Take that, summer, you asshat. Uh, I should probably also gather these reeds here. But look at all the mosquito sacks. That is fantastic because those are healing salves. Or, well, spider glands. Can't use these for healing salves, but they heal you. So, that's pretty cool. There's a rock lobster. Okay, they are still here. Hmm. Wonder why you kind of like you seem to have vanished before, buddy. Let me bring you. Let's get you out of here. Now, I'm doing this because I shouldn't have any difficulties getting uh, over to the cave with a carrot go. I should not have any difficulties getting over to the cave in terms of warmth and stuff. Let's see if we encounter any more rock lobsters on our way back. Uh, if we do, we'll befriend them. We'll stay down in the caves a little bit. Let them de-aggro. Oh, well, not de-aggro. Unfriend us. Then we'll stay our friends for too, too long. And just get them off the surface. And we'll take you. Get back here. Back here. Gotcha. And as soon as I jump down in the cave, he should just kind of teleport to me. That should be how it works. Kind of like pigs and uh, spider allies. But the problem again with them is, to my knowledge, they will just duplicate on the surface, and that just, eh, it's not smart. I'm seeing things, so kind of crazy. But we have plenty of butterflies to slap down. For some flowers. So that's cool. Should probably be wearing my garland as well. I mean, it is daylight. So, where are the uh, rock lobsters? We definitely have three as friends. I wonder if they stayed back to fight the, uh, the, uh, Whatchamacallit? Why can't I come up with his name? His Dragonfly. Like, it, it didn't seem like Dragonfly followed me. Oops. Rotate the map there. It didn't really seem like he followed me too much. Let's just break this damn pick and make another one. I know we're getting a little bit wet, but we're going to go down the caves here. Which are probably still going to be damp. So that's an issue. I 
Egg broke. It's okay. Kinda expected that. Here he is. Let's get you down here, buddy. I do want you to stop following me. Uh, if I could, just sick them on another rock lobster and have them duke it out. That'd be cool, too. I keep zooming my camera whenever I go down the cave. Anything for me to tell you to go after over there? No? Maybe you'll piss off the spiders? You gonna piss off the spiders? No? Damn. <laughs> I just want him to go away. Let's see here. I think there was another rock lobster over here I could tell him to fight. Let's see here. There's a bunny down here. Yep. And there are some more light bulbs. Hopefully he'll go after him. I'll go back and check. We're about to wrap this one up here, guys. Ooh, I can make him go attack the tentacles, cause a cave-in, and have all the baby tentacles kill him. I'm so mean. Here we go, we have a cave-in. Definitely gonna head back home here. I, I do wanna... Or do I wanna go to the caves? Or not the caves, the uh, swamp. I definitely wanna go over the swamp. I already made the trek over. So let's lose the uh, rock lobster, and then we'll go do some uh, regathering. Uh, let's try and avoid that one. Now, he will eat all this shit down here, which is kind of a problem. See, wa watch how he stops as I pick this up. It's because he's locking onto a lot of it and trying to eat it. Kind of like meat with a spider or a pig. You go attack him. Leave the food on the ground. No, no, go attack him. No. If there's any food, he gets distracted. <laughs> well, rock people food. No, rock man. Attack. Attack. No, rock man! Unless he's not my friend anymore. Which... Oh shit, that's right, these things, uh... Oh, I may need to ally him. These things will be here during these nightmare cycles. Hmm. Let's see here. Let's uh, get away from you. <laughs> so, well, we kind of accomplished our goal. I don't feel like dealing with him. We accomplished our goal in getting rid of the... Miss me, please. Got getting rid of the whatchamacallit, the rock lobster. So let's get back to the surface. Being near him kills my sanity. Hey, if I could have you attack the, uh, that thing, would be cool. Do you attack him? No. Now, if he attacks you, go attack him. They only come after me. Hmm. I mean, I could probably kill him if I put my armor on. I guess I can't get the spider dagro. That sucks. Alright, we're out of there. Huh, I thought I could stick the spider on him. Wonder if it's because it's my hallucination. <laughs> Don't know, but I think we got rid of the rock lobster man. Sweet, we did. Alright, guys. Episode 28. Uh, got rid of Dragonfly. <laughs> Cleaned up all of the trees here. It is no longer summer, thank god. It's autumn, it's raining, uh, rain. Shouldn't be too much of an issue for too long. I think it'll stop raining shortly. We will head over here into the swamp the next episode. Hopefully map out the swamp, really. Get a bunch of reeds. Still looking for that desert. I'm going to be a little bit bummed if we don't have another big desert in our world. Really hope we do. The tumbleweeds are... Sh tumbleweeds are amazing. <laughs> Sanity is a concern. I hate it. Go kill him. And sanity can also be remedied by doing this. But I'll probably pick up some flowers on my way over there. So as to not waste these. But... Is that is light coming out of the tunnel? Cool. Alright guys. <laughs> I keep trying to wrap it up. It is episode 28. We will fend off the basilisk real quick. So I can successfully log out without getting attacked. We need to get out of here. Alright. We're good. Episode 28. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.